So we've been working with uh, manipulating audio files from the command line. Today we're going to be looking at uh, how to change the speed of a uh, audio file without changing the pitch. Now uh, some more advanced uh, audio editors uh, um, like Ardor and I'm sure Audacity can do it as well. Um, but we're going to be looking at a program that we're playing with in this series uh, called Rubber Band. And, um, uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to list out, we have one WAV file. That WAV file is just the audio content of a video. You may have seen it. It's the intro to this series. It's just me talking. Let me go ahead and press, type in M player, whoops, and play it. Today I have a series of videos for you uh, that basically are on manipulating audio, speed, pitch, and that sort of stuff. So I hit Q to kill that. Uh, that's the regular speed. Uh, the audio files, uh, I think, 46 seconds long. Um, now, M player will allow you to manipulate the speed while you're listening to it or watching a video, uh, but it does change the pitch and it doesn't affect the file. That's just while you're watching. Let me give you an example here. I'm going to start playing that file. Pardon me, my phone is ringing. Sorry about that. Silent. Okay, so I'm going to start playing this, and so as you can see, I can speed it up. Or slow it down. I'm going to hit Q to kill that. Now the way I was doing that was once you start playing a video or audio file on M player, uh, you can use the little bracket keys, which are kind of depending on your keyboard uh, above the uh, enter button. Uh, the, the one to the right will make things faster, the one to the left will slow things down. Now once again, that's not manipulating the file, that's just for while you're watching or listening, uh, and it does change the pitch. What we're going to try to do today is um, change the speed without affecting the pitch. So my voice doesn't get higher or lower, but I talk a lot faster, and we're actually going to save it back to the file, or to a new file, so that you can use it in other projects. Or if you send it to somebody else, they hear it that way, and they don't have to press the buttons to, to hear that. So let me clear this out. Once again, we've got one audio file in here, one dot wave. I'm going to type in rubber band, which is a program that should be in your repositories, probably not installed by default, but allows you to do a lot of these um, tempo and speed and timing and pitch manipulations to audio files. So uh, use whatever package manager you prefer, whether it be Aptitude, Apt-Get, Synaptic, or Software Center, whatever your distribution calls it. Use whatever you normally use and just search for rubber band. Once installed, you type in rubber band. You can do dash dash help to get a quick little help. And what we're looking at today is right here, dash T for time, and it's stretch to x with a variable to x times original duration. So I'm going to hit Q, or I don't have to hit Q, I'm not in anything. I'm going to clear the screen by typing clear, and we're going to type in uh, rubber band dash T, and if we do 2, don't think that's going to double the speed. That's going to be double the length. So if we have a minute long audio file and we put two, it's now a two minute long audio file. So you're actually slowing things down. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to hit type in one dot wave and I'll say one a dot wave for our new file. So we have our program we're running. We're saying we're affecting the time. We're stretching it to double the length, two. You can use other numbers. You can go three or four if you'd like. I don't know what the limit is. You can test it if you'd like. We have our input file here and our output file. I'm going to hit enter there. And as you can see, it does one quick pass it, then it processes it. Uh, once again, it's about a 45 second video, so it's relatively fast for what it's doing. Uh, and we're going to stretch it out. And once again, more of a manipulation you take, the longer it will take. And now if I m play, and player the file, uh, 1a.wave. Today I have a series of videos for you uh, that may be so as you can see, hit Q to quit. Um, it hasn't changed my pitch, it's just me talking a little bit slower. So once again we'll do the original file. Today I have a series of videos for you. Uh, the and our manipulated file. 
Today I have a series of videos for you. Okay, and I'm just hitting Q to quit out of that. Let's clear the screen. Let's run the same command as before. We're going to run rubber band dash T, but instead of doubling the length, let's cut it in half so we're going to be talking twice as fast. So I'm going to say 0.5, and I'm going to name this the output file 1B. So I'll hit enter there, and you can see there's a little warning here, the increments. Um, that it's rounding to zero, so you're not going to get exactly uh, double the speed because it does round it a little bit. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to say M player, and we will play our 1B dot wave file. Today I have a series of videos for you uh, that basically are on manipulating audio, speed, pitch, and that sort of stuff. Uh, all mostly uh, from the command line. So if you want to see how to uh, do this sort of thing, uh, change the distort the audio as I am right now uh, from the command line, go ahead and check out the videos in this playlist here. So I thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day. Please visit filmsychris.com and check out the videos in these annotations. Thank you once again for watching, and I hope that you have a great day. That's right. Woo! <laughs> so as you can see, my voice is sped up, but it's not a higher pitch. I'm not talking like this! I'm talking like this really, really fast. But I'm not talking like this with a high pitch. So that is uh, how that works. Um, also, as I said, it does say that it's rounding it. So maybe if you have a minute long video, it may not speed it up to exactly 30 seconds, although that's a round number. It may be a half second to a second off. But if we scroll back up here, you do notice that it does give you uh, somewhere after it converted it. Da, 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 da. Am I just. I know I saw it right here. Uh, the input, the output ratio, and then here it gives you what it would be in frames per second. Uh, so I haven't really looked into this, but if you were trying to match this audio up with a video file, um, you may, uh, this may help you. This information right here may help you. Just pointing that out, I haven't really looked into it. Um, it's not like changing the pitch where we're keeping the same length. We're changing the length, and it may not be exact. Um, so uh, that's it. I mean, that's basically it. Uh, if you check out the first link in the description, I should have a post on this where I'll post these commands as well. And um, check those out. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. Visit filmsbychris.com. Obviously, there's the link in the description. It's Chris with a K. I hope that you have a great day.